everything's working great. All systems go full speed ahead. Uh-oh, what's this? You're lucky I saw you come down. So what went wrong anyway? It's not like you to crash like that. Yeah, it's just that I'm testing a new prototype power supply. And it's not fully compatible yet. You can always borrow my plane, the Tornado, if you want. Thanks, Sonic. But if I can make this work, it'll run circles around yours. Check out this power supply. It's a Chaos Emerald! No way! I was lucky to find one of the seven Chaos Emeralds. They have unlimited mystic power. Now I want to harness that power to fly my plane. Let's go to my workshop in the Mystic Ruins, and I'll show you what I've been working on. We'll go to the station, hop on a train, and get there in no time. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about play games that today we're going to be playing. Sonic Adventure. Last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up Sonic's Adventure. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and start playing as Tails. Now, as you may have noticed, there's a few things. First of all, Sonic was wearing his uh, Lightspeed Dash bracelet in those cutscenes when he didn't have them in his uh, story at that point. That's an interesting thing, which I think is just them just using whatever Sonic model they used last, which is the one with the Lightspeed bracelet. I forget the exact name for it. But another interesting thing is that the dialogue is mostly different from Sonic's story. And it's a neat little thing because, you know, with so many people witnessing the same events, there's bound to be some people who remember certain events differently. Anyways, our first thing that we're going to be doing is not actually going into a level, but we're actually going to be getting an upgrade already this early. What you have to do is you want to run over here to behind Twinkle Park, you want to go into the sewers. There's a section back here which only you can reach as tails, where if you just fly up you can go right in here and get the... Look, it's your jet anklet! It's jet power makes you fly faster. It's the jet anklet. I wanted to grab this as early as possible because it makes flight just so much better as Tails. Like, as a comparison, look at how quickly we fly around now. He just zooms on by. But anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and follow along with the story like it was in Sonic's Adventure. So now, after we got rescued by Sonic, we're just going to head over to the Mystic Ruins and fight Eggman. Yeah. Well, well, well. If it isn't Sonic and Tails... It's Eggman! Silence! I am Dr. Eggman! Yes, the most cunning scientific genius in the world! Yeah, right, Dr. Eggman. Enough! My team was not a match for plan, but now it's time to put it to work! That usually means trouble coming from you! Don't even try to 
Champions. Give me that Chaos Emerald, or else... Or else what, huh? Or else I'll take it from you the hard way. It's the Egg Hornet again, and since we can't homing attack, we can only fly. We can I genuinely didn't know you could jump off of there. I thought that there was just like an invisible wall or something. I was just jumping around for fun. Well, you learn something new every day. But an interesting little detail that I love is that during Sonic Story, who's who in this game is like a teenager and he's like... Aw, oh, Eggman's so lame and stuff like that. You know, Eggman is a lot goofier. He says a lot weirder stuff, like, I'll take the Chaos Emerald from you by force the hard way. And he's just all around. The voice acting isn't too serious. However, during Tails' story, you know, Eggman says stuff that makes more sense, like that line about taking stuff by force the hard way. In this version, it's just, I'll take it from you the hard way. And also, Eggman's voice acting is a lot more, like, evil and serious. Like, in Sonic's story, he'll be like, Oh, uh, no. What was his catchphrases? Like, I can't believe this. But in this, in this one, like, that one line where it's like, If it isn't Sonic and Tails was a lot more menacing. So, I don't know if that was done on purpose, but I think it's a neat little touch. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but I just love how, you know, like I said earlier, it's a lot more different for, from Tails' perspective than Sonic's perspective. Like how, in Sonic's story, Tails just started walking towards Eggman for some reason with the Chaos Emerald, but in Tails' story, he was walking away from Eggman. Because even though Sonic and Tails are buddies, Sonic probably sees Tails as more of like a bumbling sidekick here. Oh! Forget what I was say saying. Completely cha complete change up. Uh, Tails' story, all of the levels are races against Sonic, so you have to get to the end before Sonic does. 
because that's what a brace is. Thanks for the description, me. But yeah, you just have to get to the Chaos Emerald or whatever before Sonic does. And then... Yeah, also the levels are a lot shorter. Like, we start off right here instead of over where we started off in Sonic Story. But thankfully, for Tails, he can fly, so... It's not much of a trouble going through this. Hopefully... Okay, he goes through this correctly. We should be able to pretty easily beat him. Yep. Just float on down. And we win! Anyways, back to what I was saying earlier. Sorry for cutting myself off. But... You know... Sonic probably... Sonic does, you know, enjoy hanging around Tails and, and is his friend. But still... To Sonic, Tails is probably like a bumbling sidekick, and so, in from Sonic's perspective, it was ta partially Tails' fault, but from Tails' perspective, he was actually doing his best and trying to get it away from Eggman. So it's super interesting. And as a better example of what I was talking about earlier, about how Eggman's voice acting is, like, turned up to an 11 when it comes to Tails' story, like, during, uh... Sonic story, he, Eggman was like, and chaos will become invincible and work for me. And it's really goofy and cheesy. But when it comes to Tails' story, he's like, I will turn Station Square into rubble and turn it into Robotnik land. And it's a lot more menacing. I'll probably say the word menacing like 30 times throughout this Let's Play, but I just think that, uh, Eggman's voice actor in this game did a really good job. Anyways, since we can fly, we don't need the uh, light speed dash. And just like earlier, this level is a race. And it's not through the normal casino, it's actually through the uh, gutters that you get thrown into whenever you lose at the uh, pinball. I like how Sonic's just like, you made it! Yeah, while Sonic is desperately trying to get through there, we can just kind of fly through stuff. Although with this one, it's a bit more tough because you're a lot more cramped. But still, the little extra advantage of just being able to float through the air pretty quickly, might I add. Thanks to the the jet anklet. Uh, it's super helpful when it comes to the races. So, definitely pick it up if you have the... Uh, if you can. I think is what I was trying to say, but I lost my train of thought. Now I'm, th now that I'm thinking of, I got stuck. Crud. Come on, tails. Don't. I wonder if I can just. There we go. I got stuck for a second. Yeah, I wonder. Now that I'm thinking about like, hold on. First, let me get the chaos. Out. But anyways, now that I'm thinking about people who have and haven't gone through this with Jet Anklet, I wonder if there's a run of this game, like a speed run, where you don't collect any power-ups at all and like use glitches to get through stuff without using the power-ups. into the Chaos Emerald. Ugh, Eggman got one of them, but the other one's safe. He must be getting desperate. Now the Emerald count is two to one and Eggman's winning. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on indeed. And actually this time, I'm not gonna stop for a couple minutes to talk about 
uh, cream. That's the name of the rabbit. Cheese is the name of the, uh, the chow, I think. But yeah, like I was saying earlier about the power-ups and stuff, that would make for a good video. Like, is it possible to beat Sonic Adventure without any power-ups or whatever the correct terminology is? Upgrades, I think it is, but... But yeah, just like before, we hop through here and we go up and input the ice stone. There's not much to say here because, you know, I'm just doing the same thing again, but with slight differences. So apologies if my commentary isn't that great. This will probably be the last level of the episode. Ice cap. We start off right at the good part, which is the snowboarding section. Gotta race against Sonic while also going in front of the avalanche. I love how Sonic is taunting us about beating us in the race, even though we're about to die from this avalanche. I guess Sonic is constantly doing death-defying stuff, so this is just another Tuesday for him. That was weird. That's not supposed to happen. I feel like that's going to be my catchphrase throughout this series. I guess just since I've played this game so many times and eventually one of the let's plays was going to be, or one of the playthroughs was going to be weird and luckily it just so happens to be the one that I'm recording for a couple people to see. I, I, I totally pressed A on that. Okay, we're getting a lot more momentum than we previously did. That makes me think about my story earlier. I feel like we're getting a lot more momentum than we would when we would you know, trip, do tricks before. And you, you'll remember my during my Ice Cap video in Sonic's story, I told a story about how you know, uh, I flew so fast that I skipped past the Chaos Emerald. I wonder, I think I might have been doing that during Tails' story. Ah, dang it, I didn't get to do it the lamp. It's a bit tough to control. I don't know if this is just like my brain tricking me or if I actually am getting more momentum than I typically do. But it definitely feels a lot faster because I usually typically never miss that ramp. Yeah! But yeah, we get here just in time. Me and Sonic were actually neck and neck on that one, so... That wasn't too bad! Not at all. But I think that'll go ahead and end off this video. We got through what took us two episodes in Sonic's story, only one episode in Tails' story. So you can see that Tails' story is a lot faster than Sonic's story. Sonic's story was the main meat of this game, and all the other stories are going to be just like, what was Amy doing during Sonic's story, or what was Big doing? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and... Do what we did in Sonic Story. Fight Knuckles, fight Chaos 4, unfortunately. <laughs> and we're also going to do Sky Chase Act 1. And maybe Act 2, seeing as how fast this is taking us. Or how... how Not how fast this is taking us. How quickly we're doing it. That's the correct phrase. This is a bit of a train wreck of an outro, so... I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time when... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully when I'm much better at speech. Bye-bye!